Hi, my name is Kevin Whelan and I'm the QC coordinator here that looked at your vehicle and we just want to take you on a quick tour, show you all about your vehicle. Here in the cab, up above mounted is, this is the control for the heater. And then right below it in the center, we have the master on off for the vehicle and the battery merge switch. If you do have a low battery and need to start the vehicle, you can press this button and start the vehicle off the uh, coach batteries. Okay, so above the uh, sliding door, we have the Onan generator uh, remote start and stop and the hours meter for your generator. Next to it and towards the rear, we have the Xantrax controller. Um, this is already programmed. You shouldn't really have a need to touch this um, and it's already been set for this vehicle and its uses. We also have the control panel for all of the lights, exterior passenger scene lights, the awning power, extend and retract for the awning as well. So this is your medical fridge. Uh, it's got a data logger. This is on an inverted outlet, um, which means you don't have to be running the generator and you don't have to be plugged into shore. This is powered all the time, obviously. Uh, the one thing that you have to be cautious about is that you need to keep it, the battery charged up or this will shut off once it runs out of power if you're not on, running off the generator or plugged into shore power. Okay, so this back compartment on the passenger side is the electrical panel box and all of your batteries. Uh, on your battery pack in the electrical cabinet, um, there is a reset button for each battery that needs to be pressed occasionally and the LEDs will show five LEDs when they're fully lit up, uh, when they're fully charged. This also contains all of your breakers, the Xantrax controller box and the power transfer switch. Okay, starting at the rear on the driver's side, this is one of the first of two patient bays. We have a Sharps container on the back of the desk here for the medical assistant. We have the Welsh Allen on the wall and the patient uh, seat right here. Then there's a wall divider and then we move into the second patient bay. Again, at the rear of this bay we have a Sharps container, Welsh Allen uh, instruments on the wall, uh, the medical assistance desk, and again a patient area in the front. So directly behind the passenger seat is a little bench seat with the fire extinguisher and the first aid kit mounted to the wall. Underneath this seat is the heater unit for the entire uh, coach.